Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to back up your Windows installed disk, whether it be Windows XP, uh, Vista, or uh, Windows 7. Or you know uh, how to do you know like your Linux and I guess maybe I'll work on Mac as well I'm not sure. <clears throat> but anyhow I'm going to show you how to back them up and enjoy the tutorial. Okay, now, a um, couple things you need to note. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, installing uh, your operating system onto a computer. You could take, uh, like, a, uh, the actual install disk and back it up as many times as you want. And also, you could take it to other computers and install it on there, but you will have to use that uh, computer's uh, uh, OS key code, uh, whether it be XP, Vista, or whatever. All of them comes with, like, a key code, which looks something like this on them and um, if for some reason that computer doesn't have that you know you're not going to be able to install that also you will have to make sure that on those other computers that is the it is the same operating system so let's say if you have a Windows XP home edition disk okay you can install that onto any computer that originally had XP home in it um, now let's say that you have XP professional well, you can also do the same thing on that. You can install that to any computer that had had uh, XP Professional in it, but you cannot install that into a computer that had XP Home Edition because that is considered to be an upgrade, and you need a, a new key code uh, for the uh, for XP Pro because the the Home Edition key code won't work with it. Um, or like say you're upgrading to a new uh, OS like um, Vista or Windows 7. Well, you can't use the XP key code on Windows 7. Uh, you will have to get a new key code and use that for that computer. Okay, now this information is really good for uh, if you uh, repair computers a lot. Uh, let's say you get a computer that has XP Home on it and it's so full of viruses or something like that. And the best thing to do is just go ahead and format the hard drive and reinstall uh, Windows onto it. You gotta make sure you have the right OS uh, to install on that disk. So if you have, if that computer originally had uh, XP Home, you got to do XP Home. If it originally had uh, XP Professional, you got to do XP Professional. If it originally had Vista, uh, Windows 7, whatever it originally had, which which type of operating system, whether it's Home Basic, uh, uh, Premium, uh, Ultimate, whatever that computer originally had, you can use uh, use the disk onto. Now, now that you know that. <laughs> Now, uh, <clears throat> there's a program that you got to get to do this, and it's a free program. So all you have to do is open up your web browser, and you can go to Google or whatever you want to do, and uh, type in ISO Recorder. From there, uh, you can go ahead and go to the first link, and it will take you here. And you can read a little bit about it if you like. Okay, and they have the, uh, you know, how you download it here. Just pick which version you have right here. And uh, like I have uh, uh, Windows 7, so I'm gonna pick this one right here. And whether you have a 32-bit version or a 64-bit version. And then you just save the file. Uh, save it to wherever you want. Uh, I'm gonna save it to my desktop. From there, you can go ahead and install the program. By the way, this is a great program. I've been using it for a while now. While it's installing, it's going to pop up your uh, your command prompt for a second and go back off. I didn't get that on a screen capture. Um, and then it's going to open up Internet Explorer, but you can go ahead and close that out because you don't need to go there. And then once it's finished, you just close it out. Okay, the next thing that you can do is go ahead and get your Windows XP installed disk and go ahead and put it in your computer. Okay, uh, as you can see, it's the actual Windows XP installed disk. See? Okay, now I'm going to close that out. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to go down to Start, Computer. Also, you can, use, you can do this with XP as well. Um, and it's the same way. Okay, and then you go to where you have your Windows XP install. You're going to right-click on that. Then what you're going to do is you can choose to copy the uh, CD to CD. Uh, 
But what I like to do, I would like to make an ISO file of it so that uh, I have a copy of it on uh, on my computer that I can store away just in case I lose my disk or something like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on create the image from CD or DVD. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to pick to, you know, what file you want it to go to. So you click right here. And if you want, you can go ahead and rename it to whatever you want. Like I went ahead and put my WinXP install legal. And uh, you save it wherever you want uh, that you want to do to your documents, desktop, wherever you want, or, you know, external hard drive or, you know, a partition or part of your hard drive, wherever you want to save it to, you know, you won't delete it. And, and then you go ahead and click save. And from here, you go ahead and click next. Let me go ahead and do this. This might take a minute. Although it won't take too long. It, it's pretty quick. And then it's finished. It only took probably about two minutes. Uh, for for uh, mine to do, depending on how fast your computer is, depending on how fast it does this. Uh, from here, I'll click finish. Okay, once it's finished, you still have the ISO file, which you'll see right here. Okay, and now you're going to need a blank disk. Now, for XP uh, users, you need um, a CDR minus R, a CD minus R, um, or you can even use a DVD minus R. Um, I, um, I guess you could probably use plus R, but um, minus R works the best. It's all I ever use. Uh, now, for Vista and Windows 7 disk, you would need a DVD. You cannot use a CD minus R because all of it won't fit on it. Um, so you definitely need a DVD minus R in order to in order to have Windows Vista and Windows 7 in, installed on a disk. So now, once you have your blank disk in and you're ready to go, just go ahead. And all you have to do is double click. And it should go ahead and bring up ISO Recorder. And you pretty much can leave everything else to say because it got the source file. It's coming from there. And uh, you and a recorder should go right to uh, your DV, uh, DVD burner uh, drive. By the way, you have to have a DV burn, DVD burner in order to do this. Or if you have an XP machine, uh, you have to have a CD burner or but if you have a DVD burner, you also have a CD burner too. That might be your next question. From here, you just click next. Again, this won't take too long. It might take a couple minutes. Okay, and then once it gets to 100%, although when it gets to 100%, it took a little bit, a little while longer after it hit 100% before I actually completed and finalized. Um, now this did take longer to uh, to uh, uh, to uh, burn onto disk. Uh, it took probably about three to five minutes, somewhere around like that. Um, but, you know, not too long. So from here, we'll hit finish and then we're done. And, and you're ready to go ahead and, and use this disk to install uh, Windows onto another computer. <clears throat> now, remember, like I said, uh, when you go on to install it, it has to be on a computer that uh, already has the same operating system uh, as that disk. And, uh, and you need to use that computer's key code, which normally you'll find the key codes on the side of the computer or the bottom or in the back of the computer. Some of them might actually have them like inside the computer on the uh, panel or something like that. But anyhow, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.